The first thing I want to do is contrast this from when President Trump had this in October 2020, and I interviewed him, and he ended up with pneumonia in the hospital. He got monoclonal antibodies. He got the big cocktail, remdesivir. This is an enormous difference, isn't it? And the way this should be messaged from the White House is, look, he had two vaccines. He had two boosters. You know, we have Paxlovid, which, as you mentioned, he's getting. His symptoms are mild congestion. So even at his age, 79 and a half years old, the chances are he's going to do very well. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard O'Jet here. And my, oh my, how things have changed. Fox News, who not long ago ran 24-7 anti-vaccine programming, has now changed their tune thanks to the heavy burden of cold, hard facts. Vaccines work, morons. And all of your cook conspiracy theories proved out to be just that. COVID is a reality we are all living with. It is still being spread, but vaccines do an absolutely incredible job of preventing severe outcomes. Many of us have no doubt came down with COVID and didn't even know it, thanks to being vaccinated and boosted regularly. Because for many people, those shots have the ability to render a deadly disease into a harmless sniffle. But as you've heard people say, uh, he, he's uh, vaccinated, um, boosted, up to date on his vaccinations, taking Paxlovid. Those are all the things that we recommend for particularly high risk people, um, but, but really everyone right now to think about doing to protect themselves. That's the power of modern science. Everything that our society has been built upon. We are communicating right now thanks to advancements that came from rational people working towards a goal disciplined by the rigors of scientific method. So what you're talking about is almost like what we saw with the vaccine. I mean, it's not going to keep you from getting COVID and you might have to get booster after booster after booster. Just real quickly on where you think we are, though, because we're not even hearing from the CDC. Like they're not even talking to us, telling us what the fall is going to be like, doctor. We have questions and I would think by now they've got to have some answers. So uh, this is where we are. We're, we're, we're what we see with the president. He's got mild symptoms. He had four shots. He had two booster shots. Now he's getting Paxlovid. He still gets sick. He, he has fatigue. He probably shouldn't be working, by the way. But the chances are he stays out of the hospital. Yet science is the very thing that these right wing media hacks reject on a daily basis. That's because they are not rational people. Far from it. Nor is their goal advancement of society, but rather advancement of their own investment portfolios. It's really sad I can't use this example for everyone, but it's like people thinking the earth was flat. Eventually it became an embarrassment to believe such preposterous things when any moron can verify the truth that the earth is spherical by a myriad of objective criteria. Believing COVID is a hoax, a pandemic, or whatever cute little childish catchphrases the billionaire elites behind right-wing programming think they can stuff down your brain is getting pretty old. Everybody knows someone who's had COVID by now, and we see the stark difference between life before vaccines and how we've curbed the serious illness and death toll thanks to modern medicine. And this example extends to other matters as well. Sometime in the future, for sanity's sake, we all hope sooner than later, the big lie will be a laughable shame. How could people have fallen for such boneheaded ploy? If you look throughout Fox News history, you'll see an unbroken string of boneheaded ploys that quietly disappeared. Embarrassment is a powerful motivator. We've talked before about Republicans harnessing fear and anger because they have no morality, no limitations in their quest for power. Republican messaging always revolves around stoking fear and anger. It motivates and blinds at the same time. That's how people can buy these crazy theories, how they can make the word of scum politicians over actual experts and scientists. Common sense, rationality, empathy, kindness, or understanding doesn't often break through to a person gripped by fear or anger. Sadly, embarrassment is something that can, but you'll never hear a Republican admit that they're wrong. The fear of embarrassment and the strategy of keeping their supporters manipulated will never allow them to admit being wrong. So instead, they slowly start shifting their messaging. Compare this Fox News clip with one from the height of the pandemic, and you'll see a stark difference. But they never will admit that they were wrong. They just show, uh, slowly shifted the message.
And the truth is, they knew all along that they were wrong. They simply will push whatever message is politically advantageous for them to push. Because COVID deniers have finally been reduced to the utter lunatic fringe where they belong. It's no longer a winning message for them to push. And so they've cut ties with those folks. The easy answer would be just tell the truth all along. But then it wouldn't be Fox, would it? Let that sink in. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.